The NFL fandom became united in realizing that Mike Glennon is a turnover machine, and we became united in our vitriol towards Danny Trevathan. You're supposed to link arms, Danny, not helmets. It's time for another segment of What the Fuck is a Catch. Today's exhibit is this play by Zach Miller. Look at how he gracefully shatters his leg while maintaining full control of the ball. Surely this will be one of those rare touchdowns by Chicago. <laughs> So we ask again, what the fuck is a catch? Where is the consistency? How is this considered a catch in some weeks by some crews and suddenly is not? You've invested how much into officiating, yet you've made things even more confusing. I mean, come on, it's the Bears. Their offense couldn't hit a beach ball off of a tee. At least give them some pity points while they lose. Don't worry though, Zach. You get a nice consolation prize. The potential end of your career. Thanks for playing. Time to watch the world burn again. As Washington sports reinforces its choking stereotypes, tonight serving a blown 15-point lead with less than three minutes to go. Seriously, does anyone on the Redskins know how to make a fucking tackle? The Saints marched all over the Redskins as they blew yet another load too early. The Saints add to their strong winning streak and show the world their might. At this rate, it only feels like schadenfreude because of how this organization is run. And have yourself yet another Theismann-like injury to a running back as congratulation. Fuck Dan Snyder and the money-throwing horse he sued everyone on. The conqueror of the NFC North has returned to triumphantly lead the Packers back to the playoffs. He may brush it off by saying he's not going to be a savior, but that's just a total lie. He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cam Newton in an offensive showdown. Now it's time for Rodgers to bail out the Packers' awful defensive core again. The hell do you mean he didn't? What is this three interception stuff? This must be some seriously fake news. Aaron Rodgers would never do such a thing. I refuse to believe it. I want a recount or something. God damn it, it isn't happening. I made a haiku to celebrate this occasion. Can't make a field goal. Nick Folk earned a great reward. Unemployment line. Still better than Tampa Bay kickers though, not saying much. Way to let the Patriots off the hook. Houston, good news. The season that you thought couldn't get any worse has just gotten worse. First, an embarrassing defeat at home to the 49ers, where you couldn't get anything going with the running game and were smacked around by a bottom feeder. But wait, there's more. The football gods have demanded more payment for that World Series title. This time, they have come for Tom Savage and your starting tight end's career. Oh no, there's a man down. However, this was a Pyrrhic victory as it comes at a staggering cost of Carson Wentz. It's official, there is no God. His Messiah has fallen. We are all fucked. Adrian Peterson returns to the home that pain and misery built. Like his performances in other big games, AP did nothing, except talk about donkeys. And like the status quo, the Saints defense is still a steaming pile of goat shit. Dalvin Cook literally could have lied in a hammock and gained six yards out of it. Sam Bradford was playing target practice with receivers who had nobody on them. Unfortunately, it doesn't help when the Saints are ineffective in the red zone. I can't be too optimistic about Minnesota, though. Just too many flashbacks to last year. All rise for testimony from the Book of Wentz. A battle of Redskins leads Carson Wentz to summon all of his divine magic and escape trouble once again because nobody knows how to make a tackle. Well, let me get my old checklist out here. Tight game, check. Chargers have the final drive, check. Relying on special teams, check. Well, it's time for another patented Charger choke job. Oh my god, they actually made a field goal at the end of a game. Everything I have known has been a lie. The Chargers didn't kick their six fans in the dick again. Fuck you, Spanos. Dallas makes it to the red zone, only to be charged with a holding penalty and another sack. It became a gimme shot for the sure-footed Dan Bailey. And he misses a 34-yard field goal. One desperation challenge by Jason Garrett. Later, they still have a chance. The Cowboys are charging and need two scores to get back into the game. Dan Bailey returns for revenge. And misses another field goal! <laughs> How's Roger Goodell's ass taste, Jerry? Eat that playoff elimination on the scoreboard, you fuck! Seattle continues to keep pace with the Rams and all goes according as planned, right? All right, who turned up the injury sliders to big name players? I want names, goddammit! There's at least still a chance. Oh my god, Jesus, they lost to the Jets. 
I do have a joke for the Dolphins, though. You guys lost to the Jets! <laughs> you guys lost to the Bears! <laughs> Eat shit, Yinzers! The guy completely missed the kicking <laughs> I'm mostly putting this here for three simple words. Fuck you, Spanos. You deserve nothing good in this world. And fuck the rest of the AFC, too. On the way. <laughs> fuck you, Spanos. Fuck you and your saggy puss infested ass. You did it, Cleveland. Oh, I'm 15. It's your greatest accomplishment since returning to the league. I'm so proud of you guys. Wait, you're keeping Hugh Jackson? This can't get any more laughable. <laughs>